Hi everyone, Donut here. I figured this really cool thing out where if you talk into the correct side of your microphone, it doesn't sound like shit. We're gonna take a look at a few videos today, three to be exact, but first we're gonna go ahead and get the sad stuff out of the way. The Anderson County Sheriff's Department, which is the jurisdiction that I live in, I know a few people from that department, they lost a deputy yesterday. Deputy Hodges and some other officers were performing some training exercises on a boat on uh, Lake Hartwell yesterday when some of the officers in Deputy Hodges' boat were thrown from the boat. The driverless boat circled back around, ran Deputy Hodges over, and it, unfortunately it killed him. You know, my deepest thoughts and condolences go out to the Anderson County Sheriff's Department. Like I said, that's the jurisdiction that I live in. I live on Lake Hartwell. Uh, if you guys, if, if any of you from the Anderson County Sheriff's Department are watching this, if you guys need anything from me, promotion for a GoFundMe or anything, I'll be sure and throw it on here. Just please let me know, donutoperator at gmail.com. The first video that we're going to take a look at today, I've got a lot of messages from you guys asking me to look at it. And uh, it's the incident that happened in Greenville, Texas, where th three people, two bounty hunters and a suspect, end up killing each other inside of a car dealership. Bounty hunters Gabriel Bernal and Fidel Garcia were inside of a Nissan dealership for several hours waiting on a wanted suspect out of Minnesota. What makes this situation even worse is that the two bounty hunters told the employees inside the Nissan dealership that they were federal agents. Now, I'm not the most familiar person when it comes to bounty hunters, but I'm pretty sure they can't tell people that they're federal agents. The two bounty hunters are waiting inside of the dealership. Hutchinson shows up. It looks like he sits down inside of one of the sales offices inside the dealership. That's when the two bounty hunters decide to make their move on Hutchinson. They walk in and start talking to him. And there's their second mistake. You know, after telling people that they're federal agents, is why would you try to capture someone inside of a crowded building? The reports that I've read for this state that there were children inside the building waiting in the lobby. So they come around the corner, they're probably like, hey, Hutchinson, you're under arrest, you know, even though they're not cops or anything. And then Hutchinson stands up and starts sticking his hand down his waistband. That's when the two bounty hunters pull their own guns, point them at Hutchinson. Hutchinson pulls his gun out, fumbles around with it, and drops it on the desk. The two bounty hunters jump on Hutchinson's back, and that's when you can see Hutchinson reach around under his armpit with his gun and start firing. He got it. He got it. Get down! Hold on. All three men started firing and all three men died. I don't know what kind of certifications or training bounty hunters have to go through, but there were a lot of poor choices made in this video. You know, the old formula, poor training plus firearms equals bad shit's gonna happen. And as you can see, bad shit happened. All three of them died on scene. Thankfully though, no one else was hurt in the crossfire between these three people shooting at each other in the middle of a crowded dealership. This just goes to show if you're gonna get into any kind of work where you capture another human being, you might need the proper training for it first. The ironic thing about this though is that the two bounty hunters were from a company called FNG. Up next, we have a high school student getting tased right in his pecker. At least that's what it looks like. I found this video today. It looks like two high school students, one of them has his back turned, the other one attacks him from behind and throws him on the ground. The aggressor who attacked the student from behind actually falls onto his back. The student on top gets a few licks in before the school resource officer runs up and tases him right in his dick. Now, if you look, there are other students that run up and try to get in between the officer and the uh, the kid that she just tased. Fortunately, though, it looks like there are some staff there willing to do crowd control since these kids can't contain themselves from being shitty. Oh, 
Did Avery oh, just fall? Chill out! I had to grab the fucking hey, razor. Hey. World Star! <laughs> World Star. This kid didn't even have anything to do with the original fight, but look at him trying to hulk out on the officer while his friend's holding him back. World Star. This is why I'm happy I've been doing this channel like I have, because I have a lot of teens around these people's age. A lot of you guys send me messages like, hey, Donut, I thought police were just the worst until I started watching your videos. And so, you know, I'm, I'm thankful for those messages, especially after watching things like this where the officer's trying to get this kid under control and all the other kids want to do is attack the officer. Now for our main video, you guys might have already seen it today. It's been all over the internet. It's the story of a young man who has quite a bit of money and he loves showing off his money on Facebook Live, and the Jacksonville Sheriff's Department just ruins everything. <laughs> Since I've watched the video a few times, and it's kind of hard to tell what the young man is saying, I'm gonna go ahead and translate for everyone. I want my light bulb, pile of shit, man. I need some light bulbs and a pile of shit. I already know, man. Fault niggas catch up, man. Fault me this ketchup. Fault niggas catch up. I fought ninjas and ketchup. You get money over here, man. We got, got so much of this shit called, man. We get money over here, man. Y'all already know the story, man. Free the guys, man. All to the bro, man. Praise God, Shia LaBeouf, man. That one time, I didn't fucking even cut up on my shit. Y'all already know the story, man. Y'all already know I fought that ketchup. You know the story, man. Give you some money, now you gonna fail me broke out here, man. You hear me? I gonna fail me broke out here, man. Straight up, man. You fought this ketchup, man. I fought this ketchup, man. You fought this ketchup, man. This shit don't stop, man. You f I fought that ketchup and that shit don't stop. Hey, this shit don't stop, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, man. This shit don't stop, man. This shit don't stop. Hold on, hold on. He must be going to fight some more ketchup. Man, this shit, this shit don't stop, man. We got, we got many of this shit, man. This shit don't stop, man. This shit don't stop, man. It's the first thing that went. I think that man just said this is the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. <laughs> According to arrest reports, the young man who we just saw making a video about fighting ketchup and ninjas was arrested after officers found a handgun, crack cocaine, ammunition, oxycodone pills, and drug paraphernalia at his home. This is 22-year-old Breon Hollings of Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville police say that they had already planned to execute the search warrant and the Facebook Live video had nothing to do with it. It was just really, really awesome timing. The last video that we're gonna take a look at is pretty controversial as well. It comes out of the UK, just like our video the other day of the teenagers being tackled. This was a Avon and Somerset constabulary who was involved in this incident. Now, I'm gonna remain unbiased on this one because I'm just interested to see everyone else's opinion. Officers were called to 
an incident between an ambulance service and a man acting aggressively towards their staff. Reports from the Avon and Somerset Constabulary website say that it appeared the man was in mental health crisis, so officers took the decision to detain him under the Mental Health Act. While the officers had him on his stomach and cuffed, it looks like he still had a hold of one of the officers' arms. The officer says, let go of my arm, counts to five, and then socks him in the head. What's up, buddy? Don't worry. Let go of my arm now. Click. I will ask sure. you one more time to let go of my arm. Let go of my arm. Five. Four. Let go of his arm. Punch him. Punch him. Three. Punch him in the Two. face. Three. Let go of my arm. Oh, oh, let go of my arm. Boy, that is definitely let go video. of my arm. Yeah, I will ask you one more time. That's on Facebook. Yeah. So my question to you fine people is, was that too much? Should he have used a joint lock or pressure point to get him to release his grip? Do you think he could have just pulled away from the man? I just want to hear your guys' opinion on it. We'll look at it one more time. What's up, buddy? Don't worry. Let go of my arm now. Click. I will ask you one more time to let go of my arm. Let go of my arm. Five. Four. Let go of his arm. Three. Punch him in the face. Let go of my oh, so let me know what you thought about that incident and any other incidents that we watched today in the comments below. I'm probably going to be streaming tonight, so if you could, go ahead and turn on notifications for my YouTube channel so you can come hang out with me. Uh, again, I just want to say if anyone with the Anderson County Sheriff's Department needs any assistance with Deputy Hodges and some of those things, just let me know and I'll help you out as much as I can. Everyone, this is Donut. The weekend's finally here. Please have a fantastic Friday night. Raindrops, get up, smoking on cooking a hot box, cooking, fucking on your get up, that, 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 cooking up, get up in the crock pot, pot.